Jeff, as for the dudes who receive the football, also known as wide receivers, how bad do you need to pay up at this position? Or maybe you don't. So look, there's a lot of studs at wide receiver, but this is where I think you can find, you can start to save your money. This is where I want to save, I want to pay down, because there's guys like Devontae Smith at 4,500 who's coming in. Again, I've, I've mentioned this game like three times already, but Eagles, Atlanta, two fast-paced teams, not really good defenses, no real pass rush or, or great corners to worry about. Devontae Smith at 4,500 going to be coming in, taking a wide receiver one workload right off the start. He's healthy. People have kind of forgotten about Devontae Smith because he was injured early in the preseason, but he's coming into this game healthy. And I also think you can look at Michael Pittman for value. No T.Y. Hilton. Michael Pittman going to be taking a lead role there in Indy. So two guys there in Pittman and Devontae Smith can save you a lot of bucks week one. I like them both. A lot of studs here, wide receiver in week one, Reed. Yeah, I'm staying with that Seattle game. I think at 48 and a half over under that game total, I think it's going to be a sneaky game where a lot of people don't potentially go to in terms of the passing offenses. And I like DK Metcalf. Sure, there's a lot of guys you can save on, right? I think Pittman Jr. with that game sack is fine. I think Robbie Anderson as well in a revenge game narrative week one, I think is fine as well. But if you take a look at DK Metcalf at $7,500, if you look at the games that Russ Wilson threw over 300 yards, DK Metcalf, Weeks one, three, five, seven, and nine, Emerson, all odd weeks for some reason. I don't know why. He averaged 20.3 DK fantasy points. And one of those games, one of those games, 4.9 against Arizona. The other five or four games were absolutely fantastic for DK Metcalf. So give me him. I want to pay up.